today to do a review for you. Um, I was sent two polishes and the base and top coat um, from DIY Hard Nails. Um, we have worked with them in the past and I will include the link down below um, to my previous review where I reviewed two different colors. And um, Opal is actually reviewing two colors as well. Um, one of the two she did end up with the same as me um, because we ended up choosing uh, the same thing. Uh, but these are the two polishes and this is the top coat and the base coat. So I have used their polishes before but this is my first experience with their top and base coat. Um, I also got the colors Ice Queen and Purple Tonic. Now I will include a link down below to Opal's review. Um, where you can see the other colors that she got and see what her take is on these polishes. Now I currently have on Purple Tonic. It's similar to Pink Galaxy, which is one of the colors that Opal has, um, except for the colors are a little bit different. The, this is less neon pink and more of a fuchsia than with Purple Tonic. And I do have it on my thumb as well, where normally my thumb is usually not done. Um, but I'm going to have swatches here in the video, but I wanted to just talk a few things um, about it. Now, the base coat works really well. It doesn't cause too much thickness to the nail, um, which is great. And the top coat leaves them very, very shiny. I really love this top coat. The only thing about the top coat is you have to be very careful when applying it because it is very thick and it runs though, even though it's super thick. So you might think you don't have a lot on your brush, uh, but it's easy to accidentally get way too much. And when you get way too much, you end up with things like this where it sticks to your skin and then it leaves a bit of you'll see that line right there now I can follow that off I just haven't done that yet um, file it or clip it but sometimes it looks a little weird if you're not careful so um, usually it's just the top coat that I do. Here I actually did some of the polish a little bit too far over as well. So um, now these brushes on these, I'll show you, are pretty wide. And this one here is purple tonic. Right. It has a little sticker so you can tell what it is. Um, which I like these stickers a lot better than their old stickers. The old stickers were just holographic with the name and then you couldn't tell um, what they were. So, but this is the bottle. The bottle is black because these cure in UV light um, or LED light. And if you don't have the black bottle, um, the polishes get ruined. Uh, by being exposed to light. So here is purple tonic and you can see that it is very thick. Now this is one of the thickest 
gel polishes that I've used. The only thing about that though is that means less coats that you have to apply to the nail. Which is awesome because then that means the um, less like thickness that you get to your nail. Because sometimes gel polish can leave your nails looking um, pretty thick. But the brush though um, is kind of wide for my nail because my nail beds are not exactly, my middle nail is about my widest. Um, so I have to be very careful not to get this on the sides because it's just a mess. Now I did try to clean it up with alcohol and acetone before curing but sometimes it doesn't all come off and then you end up um, with those little side pieces like I showed you. So this one here is Ice Queen um, and Ice Queen is a purple to white or really really pale um, blue. <laughs> And really, this company was the first company that I had ever heard of a thermal gel polish from. Um, and that was one of my favorite things about them. As I said, I will include the link so that you can see um, my previous review and then um, Opal's review so that you can see hers. But this one on me looked very like white and then very purple at the top um, but on other people I've seen it look more blue um, and this one is a well it's supposed to be kind of a pinky purple to purple I'm actually pretty warm right now, so it's just staying in its warm state. Uh, so here is, I already showed you that one. I'll show you this one. I think they look, yeah, they look pretty much the same in the bottles. So. Um, but that is the DIY hard nails. I will have the uh, macro shots and pictures at the end of this video. And um, really, the, this is one of my favorite gel polish makers. Um, this is a small company. I guess you could consider it kind of an indie um, they have lots of awesome different colors out there. They have a really nice blue and green one um, that we were looking at the other day on their site and it's really gorgeous but I am a sucker for purples, blues, and pinks um, so it's pretty much what I stuck with and the base coat and the top coat really I would say are some of my favorite. Um, previously, I always used red carpet manicures base coat, um, and then I had used up my red carpet manicure top coat, so I had actually been going through um, the Sally Hansen gel polish top coat uh, because I have like 10 bottles of it. 
um, because I got it for a dollar a piece so I kind of stocked up for a while there um, but I really love these top coat and base coat almost didn't have it screwed on there um, the brushes are a little wide for me I do wish they were a little a little uh, less wide so that I could get it better applied to my nails without making as much of a mess but overall it's definitely an awesome product I will have all the links down below where you can purchase these um, I also will have our social media links Opal's video and our previous blog post um, from I think it was 2013 where I reviewed two other colors from this company and no I'm sorry it was three other colors from the company at that point um, so I'll have all those links down below please check out our Instagram I am doing a giveaway at 3,000 subscribers followers um, so definitely check us out I'll have everything down below don't forget to stop by Opal's video and I will see you guys later let me know which color is your favorite bye you and me stuck in a lifelong conversation the story with no start no end I try to keep away, remain a long time distance but always get me in the end Irrational thoughts Why are you coming back to my door When there's no room for you I know I buried you long ago